I can get caught up in my emotions. Sometimes I feel like I'm on a roller coaster, that my highs can be really high and my lows can be really low, and it's hard to try to get back some balance. Do you ever feel like that? That maybe you hear another news media story or, or, or some crisis going on in the world and, and you go kind of through the roller coaster of emotions? Well, I found something that really seems to be helpful for me. It's, it's found in Paul's letter to the Philippians in chapter 4, and this is what he says when we're dealing with those unwanted emotions. He said, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Paul says, don't be anxious about anything. And he's saying that, but not only is he saying that, he lived that. He's writing these words from prison, and he had lots of things that he could be anxious about. He could be anxious about maybe losing his life. He'd be anxious about his next meal. But he found the secret to overcoming these unwanted feelings. He said, present your request to God with thanksgiving. Say a prayer of thanksgiving. You see, when we're grateful and thankful, those are emotions that really tsunami every other emotion that we're feeling. Uh, When you're grateful and thankful and presenting those requests to God, it changes everything else you're thinking. You see, you can't be anxious and afraid and thankful at the same time. So when I feel myself going through that roller coaster of emotions, I try to stop and say a prayer of thanksgiving. I start listing before the Lord those spiritual blessings that no situation can take away from me. Like, I'm a forgiven, loved child of God. I thank God for that. I thank God that he promises to work out all things, even the evil in this world, and even my bad decisions for my eternal good. And as I'm thanking God, I experience what Paul is promising. That the peace of God, which goes beyond our understanding, starts to guard my mind and my heart from those toxic, roller coaster kind of thoughts. So how about you? Are you, are you on the roller coaster of emotions right now? Are you maybe angry or afraid or upset or depressed? Stop everything and list before your Lord a prayer of thanksgiving. Thank God especially for those spiritual things that can't be taken away from you. And as you're thankful and grateful before the Lord, let the peace of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, Guard your heart and mind from all kind of toxic thoughts and you will experience God's joy. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that we are forgiven children in Christ. We thank you that you promised to work out all things for our good. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises. And Lord God, as we try to have a thankful heart with your help, We pray right now that you would give us the peace that goes beyond our understanding. Amen. Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here from Time of Grace. We here at Time of Grace actually have a bunch of podcasts to bless you in your spiritual life. Uh, Dr. Bruce Becker just launched a new podcast called Bible Threads. Uh, He's exploring right now the grand ands of the Bible. Uh, I'm super intrigued by it, so I hope you can check that out. And our friend uh, Amber Alby Swenson, I almost messed up your name out there, Amber. Uh, She has a great podcast called Little Things that I've actually been listening to for years. Uh, She's a faithful woman of God with a lot of great insights and a passion to teach people. So wherever you get your podcasts, make sure you check out Bible Threads with Dr. Bruce Becker and Little Things with Amber Alby Swenson.